Welcome friends to Farm Fresh Designs 59. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. So let's get started on today's projects. So this is a box that I thrifted. And initially I thought that it was one of those heavy cardboard boxes. It's a really long oval box. And it turns out that on the inside, it's actually partly wood and it's made really nice. So I painted all of it with Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream and then I sprayed it with Rust-Oleum Sealer and I'm actually using an older IOD transfer called Elysium. And this transfer set comes with four different sheets and I had used up two sheets and so I wanted to save one more sheet for later on. So what I did was the really one long sheet that I had left I kind of pieced it here and there um, on the top and then kind of coming down the front of the box and it just all kind of looked really cohesive at the end but that's what I love about IOD is that in the florals you can kind of you know cut cut up here and add here and it just all looks like it goes together now, one of the things that I like to do is actually have it cascading down on the bottom part of the box. And it then that way it looks like there's just that seamless transfer. And even though when you open it up, you see that, you know, that separation, it's okay. Um, and this is just some little French script writing that I just had. And so I put that on there and then up at the top, this is another piece of French script, and I think this is a redesign by Prima transfer. So once I finished it all up, I decided that I wanted to use just a little label from the conservatory labels, and it's the one that's oval, that's kind of frilly, but if you've watched my channel before, you know that I like frilly. So I put cornstarch in the mold, and I used DOS air dry clay, and I paint it with Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream. I put it on with tight bond glue. And then this is just a little piece of rice paper that just says Paris on it. And I just put that on after it's painted. And I put that on with Pent Art Decoupage Varnish and Glue. And then to kind of bring out the detail, I use Dixie Belle Voodoo Gel Stain in Natural. And I actually even put it on top of that little piece of rice paper because I wanted it to look like it was tea dyed. And then I just wiped it back with a baby wipe that, and it just made the, the voodoo gel stain kind of sink into the little crevices and that brought out the detail. Now, once I finished it, I'm not real sure if I was completely happy with it. And I may go back and put a little bit of darker gel stain um, around the edges um, because I felt like maybe it kind of blended into the background but I'm just going to wait and see and so tell me what you think when you look at the final result but before I show you that I'm going to show you another piece that I used an older transfer on and it was these two um, boxes and I painted them with um, Waverly Moss Green Paint which is actually one of my favorite colors and the transfer is from the IOD called The Botanist. And I love this transfer because it has a big oval in the middle that's got some script in it. But all of the floral that's in this transfer set just kind of winds around. And I just think it's so pretty. So once again, with these two graduating boxes, you know, I painted it with Waverly Moss Green and then I sealed it with Rust-Oleum Sealer before I put my transfer on. And then I start with the larger box down at the bottom. And I just kind of work my way up toward the top. And I've got the top of the box on it. And later on, I will just go and slice that. And then I'll let that transfer go up just a little bit on the top of that box because then the next box, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna start down at the bottom and work my way up. And it's gonna look like this flower is just one long trail of flowers. 
And if you'll notice at the top of that box, right in the front, um, I have just um, a double-sided mold that I had made that I was going to use as like a little handle. Well, then I decided it just didn't go with it long enough or it just didn't go with it well enough. I'm sorry. And so I took that out and you'll see at the end what I decided to do with it. But because these are more like roses, then I pulled out the IOD Juliet mold. And that's just one mold that has this long, continuous um, set of roses. And you don't have to do the whole thing. But I love that you can just, you know, use a little bit of it here and a little bit there. Um, but if you wanted to use the one whole mold, you could. So I put a little bit on each one of those boxes and then once they dried then what I did was I took a diff couple different colors of paint just and kind of mixed it up a little bit to try to get the color of the flowers that are in the transfer but on the flower I did this before in a video and I painted it and then I used a baby wipe to kind of wipe it back because I didn't like it and I realized that that color kind of sunk into the details, and then I did like it. So I decided I would try this again. So I get all the flowers painted just like that, and then I go back with the Waverly Moss Green to paint all of those little leaves, but I also go back and wipe that as well. And then I just kind of might go back a little bit here and a little bit there just until I'm happy with the way it looks. And then um, I put just a little transfer up at the top, just on the top of the box. And I still have that little double-sided mold um, on top of that box. But then I ended up taking it off because I just didn't think it went with it well enough and put a glass knob on it. So here's the really large box. And I just think this is such a beautiful transfer. But I've got that one sheet of it left and I can't wait to use it, um, but I'm just really wanting to save it for another really beautiful project. And that's what I like about IOD is that it might be four sheets of it. And yes, you can use it all together. Or you can just kind of piece it together and it all looks so good. Now, one of the things that I did on these green graduating size boxes is I used the IOD Vintage Textures just to add a little bit more detail to it. And that's just a glass knob and then it's screwed on on the inside. Now, these boxes will actually be going in my hall bathroom because that bathroom has green in it. And so these will just be in my bathroom with the next piece that I'm working on. So what do you think? Do you like these boxes and do you, do you like decorating them? I just think they're so much fun. So if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and become part of our family. So the next piece is just a little wooden plaque that I believe I actually bought it at Hobby Lobby. Of course, I made, waited to make sure it was you know on sale before I bought it. And then I pulled out one of the transfers from the new IOD Lover of Flowers. And so I think that these flowers go really well and are almost the same colors as the florals in the botanist. And so I put down a little swag at the bottom and just part of the poem that went along with it. And I wanted to use a little label up at the top because, you know, in that Lover of Flowers, it's got a little bit of script. And so I wanted to use some of that on the label. But I didn't want to glue that label down yet. Because once again, I wanted to pull out that mold, the Juliet mold. And I wanted to put some roses up on both sides. And then, you know, once you get it put down, some of the little pieces might break off. But you can you know, kind of like butted up against one of the other pieces, and it just does so well. And then I used the Monarch mold to put a couple little butterflies on it because that transfer has some butterflies in it. And then I put the little transfer with just the script on it on that little on that little um label. And now what I'm doing 
is I'm not going to try to paint these flowers. I just use the Dixie Belle Voodoo Gel Stain in Natural, and I go over those flowers and kind of wipe them back because I didn't want color up at the top that may or may not match those fl florals. But I was really happy with the way that it turned out, and I painted the leaves with that Waverly Moss Green, and I painted those little butterflies with a Waverly Yellow paint because of just that little bit of yellow. And that's gonna be the little sun that hangs in my bathroom. But I just think it's so, so pretty. And I also used a little bit of Voodoo Gel Stain on that label. And because some of it had gotten a little bit on the side, I just kind of brushed it a little bit on the sun as well and then wiped it back. Okay, let's do something really easy. This little um, piece of wood came off the top of a wooden cigar box and I painted it with Rust-Oleum Serenity Blue. And this is just an older stencil that I had. And I just wanted to do something really simple. And I used some of the chalk paste and put it on, put it on with the stencil. And then these are some little transfers from the IOD Bracant transfer set. And it's just some little florals. And I put a little bit on the bottom right hand or on the bottom left hand side. And I put a little bit of the flowers on the right hand side, more toward in the middle. And it's just, just a sweet little sign that you can sit on a shelf. But I really like these little colors together. And I think the little flowers from the transfer set just kind of make it pop just a little bit. And then I actually also went back with the IOD Vintage Texture a little bit later and did little parts of the crackle here and there. And this is some of the Tim Holtz um, ink. And I just go back with a little makeup brush just around the edges and just to distress it just a little bit. And that just kind of gives it a little bit of extra dimension. Now, I'm going to make some little coasters. And the IOD sisters did this, and I just thought they were so neat. So these are two stamps from the new stamp set called Patiche. And so I'm going to make some coasters. I'm going to make two that are birds, and then I'm going to make two that are nest. And I use the IOD black ink on it. Now this is some Mod Podge that I used and I didn't really like the way it turned out. So I ended up after I put three coats of it on to protect it was I then used a Mod Podge that was waterproof because this little Mod Podge that I'm using right now, I thought it kind of streaked just a little bit. But when you put that Mod Podge on it, it darkens up the background and I just think they're so pretty. So this is my sweet little son, and I just love it. And this is just a little shelf sitter. And then these are my new coasters, and I ordered these off of Amazon, and I can't remember, they come in several pieces, and they also come with the little cork backings that you can stick on the back of them. But I just think these are just some really easy little projects, and don't forget, Mother's Day's coming, and you know, always, everybody always can use new coasters. Okay, so my last piece is just a wooden box that I thrifted, and I really wasn't as sure exactly what it was. It kind of, I thought it was like a little drawer, but I don't think it was. Um, so I painted the whole thing with Waverly um, chalk paint in the color ink, and I painted the outside and on the inside, and I'm going to turn it into either a little shadow box or you could use it as like just a little box that you would put things in. So after I get it all painted, then I put Rust-Oleum Clear Sealer on it. And then there was a part that I guess I just didn't hit the record button. And I used a really large red flower from the new transfer set called Collage de Fleurs. And I cut that really large rose in half and I put half of it on one side of the box and half of it on the other side of the box. But this really large flower has a little um, rose bud that kind of stems off from it. So I just cut that up and separated it, and then I put that on the other side of the box. So I apologize 
for not hitting the record button, but it's a really large red rose. Now, these are just some little cake molds that our very sweet friend who we all love, Lisa from Our Shabby Cottage, sent me. And these are some 3D roses. So I just treat those like I do all the other molds, and I put some cornstarch in it, and then use my DOS air dry clay and put that in. And on that last side of the box, then I'm just gonna use a lot of those little roses and just layer those a little bit on top of each other and a little bit separate. And I put those down with tight bond thick and quick. So once I let them set up for just a little bit, then I pulled out my Waverly red chalk paint and I painted all of them. Now I know this is a really strong color and on this time, I didn't want to wipe it back with um, a baby wipe because I wanted them to be red. And then I used the Waverly Moss Green paint to paint the leaves on it. Now that was a little tricky um, because, you know, that red, you know, it's hard, kind of hard to cover up. And so I think in the beginning I used some of the grunge gray wax and then I went back with black wax because the roses in the transfer are sort of muted and kind of dark and I wanted those roses in the molds to look a lot like the roses in the transfer set. So once I finished that all up, I took some DOS air dry clay and then I just rolled it out with a little brayer and then I came back with one of the labels from Apothecary Labels and I pushed that into that um, air dry clay then I trimmed around it and then on the inside I was going to use some of the alphabet from the Apothecary Labels and I was going to spell out roses. So I started with, uh, it was R-O-S-E-S. -S. So I started out putting the S in the middle and then I've kind of worked my way back because I wanted to make sure that the word was centered in that little label like equally. And I just kind of pushed that in there until I was all finished up spelling that word. And that's just a really neat little trick. So I painted it with um, Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream and then I used my red to kind of go and um, write or to um, paint in that word and that was really tricky. And then I wanted the edging of it to be just a little bit black. So I used DIY Liquid Patina. And the name of that is called Dark and Decrepit. And I love the way it turned out. So you can use it as a shadow box. Or you can kind of lay it down and put some things inside of it. And use it as maybe just like a little tray. And even though it's got that label in it, um, if you're going to use it as a tray, it's still fine. You just kind of want to make sure that you kind of work your way around it. And then this is just the sides of the boxes with the transfer. And I just love the way that it turned out. So what do you think about this? But I used red in one of my recent videos and I was pleasantly surprised at how much I love the way that it turned out. Because, well, y'all know me, I'm, I'm a pink girl. And so I really was stepping out of my comfort zone. But now I really like this red and black, I think it's so pretty. And then this is just the little box sitting down um, with just a couple little things in it where you, it would look like a tray. And look at those vibrant colors, aren't they beautiful? So let's sit back and look at everything.
So friends, thank you so much today for watching. Also in the comments below, make sure and tell me what is your favorite piece today. And then once again, I want to mention that I want you to go out and visit Carolina's Cottage. Um, she's a sweet friend. She's down in Texas and her name is Johnny. And I'm going to link her channel below and make sure you go out and watch her channel and subscribe to it. She makes some beautiful pieces and I love what she just did um, a couple days ago. So make sure you go and watch that. She's very, very talented and everything she does is so my style. But I just love all the pieces today. So once again, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.